Greetings, critical viewers. We're here with a new game. Well, I don't think it's new. I don't really know much about it. I just stumbled upon it. It's called Purgatorium. And uh, before I started recording just now, there was a uh, logo that said Leffler Design. So I'm assuming it's, yeah, Leffler Web Design presents. I'm assuming that is referring to Ben Leffler, who's the creator of, yeah, Ben Leffler Creation. He's the creator of Ex Mortis and Ex Mortis 2, which I've already played and you can view. Um, there's links in the description. Um, yeah, so I was just searching around for horror flash games and I stumbled upon this and the name sounded familiar. I think some of you guys recommended it to me back when I was playing Ex Mortis, so we'll check it out now. Okay, where am I? What is this place and how did I get here? Good question. Hey, that rocking chair is rocking. Is there a breeze in here? The chair seems to be rocking by itself. I didn't even touch the chair, it just stopped dead. What's going on here? I think this is one of Ben's earlier creations before Ex Mortis. Baby's crib sits in the corner of the room. It's filled with an odd mixture of blankets, cushions, and toys, but there's one particular doll that is very disconcerting, yet oddly familiar. Oh god. The slight scent of melted plastic and burnt hair lingers in the air. The doll looks like it's had half of its body mangled up and charred. Sure that isn't fresh blood soaking through its clothes. Yeah, surely not. What a macabre piece of work this doll is. What on earth is something like this doing in a baby's crib? Good question. Oh god. What the fuck? Um... Yeah, okay. Alright. Thank you. There's a child's diorama suspended above the crib in the corner. On each string suspends an animal. Crocodile, tiger, hyena, and shark. What a morbid choice for a child. It's just a... Ah! Okay, thanks. Thank you for being there. Thank you for existing. It's just a window, but beyond its glass is a vast oblivion of darkness. This is the only door out of this strangely haunting room, but it seems locked. Might be able to pick it with a smaller, thin object. Okay, small plastic bin. Diaper nappy hamper. Going on the smell that is emanating from it. Consider <laughs> it recently soiled. Just a standard power outlet, maybe... If I could short the power out with a tool or something similar. Uh, it's a Winnie the Pooh mat! I used to have one just like this when I was young. That is probably the only fond childhood memory that I can take with me to my grave. Okay. Oh god. Severed head skewered with a barbecue fork for good measure. I could probably use this fork actually. Way to be selfish. It's the severed head that I retrieved the barbecue fork from. Thanks a lot. Okay. So I shorted out the power. Weirdos. What's that? What's that supposed to do? Double frame sits on the shelf and contains drawings and a poem. From here, I can't make out what it says exactly, but it seems to be a child's poem about frogs trying to cross a pond. Fascinating. The old music box had stopped playing that haunting song. However, it is odd that I am starting to get feel a sight and feel, feel a heightened anxiety with every moment that passes without the tune being played. Why is that? Well, let me think about that. Hang on a second. There we go. Yeah, the frame wasn't exactly over it. <laughs> Most of the space under the cot is occupied by various blankets and sheets. However, there is one part which has nothing underneath it. Now, what is that? This thing's small. Looks like it could be a pin falling down the back of the crib. Oh, God. Okay, here it goes. I got it! Hey, I got it! Not bad. Not bad. So I can open this door now, right? What the hell? Why is this door bricked in? Am I trapped in here? I have to get out. But why is there a brick missing? Oh. So I have to find a brick? Is that... I don't know if there's... Most of the space under the cot is occupied by various blankets and sheets. However, there's one part which has nothing underneath it. Well, I already looked there. I looked in the hamper. Looked in the bin. Looked the severed head. Gotcha. Looked in the crib with the creepy doll. Uh, 
won't let me click on anything else from what I can tell. Uh, window, double frame, music box, chair, we the poo mat. What is the deal? What is the purpose of shorting out the power? Diorama. I don't think I can leave. Shit. Oh, hey! Now that it's dark in here, I can clearly see a source of light through the missing brick in the doorway. Bill Rydell. Murderer. What? This has got to be some kind of joke. It's a gravestone with my name on it. What is this? Am I dead? Wait, I remember a fire. Oh, now you remember. <laughs> my child and wife dead. Blood on my hands bricking up a doorway to hide from... I don't understand. What the hell is happening here? Family slaughter. Police were unable to save a woman and her eight-month-old son from... Her oh, shit! God! Fucking Jesus Christ! Oh! I wasn't... Oh, fuck that! Oh, my God. Fuck, jeez. Oh, God almighty. What the shit? Oh, is that it? Are you freaking serious? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, happy Halloween to you too, Ben. God. Oh, my God. Still reeling from that. Sorry. I just, I was trying to read. Man, it's like they, ugh. God, that was a, well, I was short. I was expecting another epic, you know, Ex Mortis like game, but I guess it makes sense. It was just one room. Cool game, though, and, uh, interesting twist at the end, and, uh, horrible jump scare. I hate, God. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and I'll see you guys later. If you have any other cool Flash games to recommend to me, um, let me know. Uh, I've got quite a list going, but uh, maybe it's something I haven't heard of before. Thanks for watching. Think critically.